It was gone. This is hard. <laughs> Insert the cha-ching right here. I was on my last straw, hoping that I could get this dresser. So as you may or may not know, I am going through the process of renovating my new home purchase. Make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss an episode of Making Home, my house renovation series. But there is one thing that I didn't want to include in that series just because it was gonna be a big enough project on its own, and that is a bathroom vanity. So vanities are probably one of those things that you don't pay too much attention to until somebody's like, hey, what vanity do you wanna put in your house? And you're like, hold on, let me think on that. So, as any good DIYer or anybody that's looking for inspiration, I went to Pinterest and I started pinning. And so this is how my Pinterest board is looking. Obviously I have a thing for these like mid-century modern vanities. Obviously I'm liking the wood over something that's maybe white or something. This is one of my favorite photos. I think it's such a vibe. I love spaces that feel like, even though you might have put them together in like one day or a month, I want to look like something that's been thought out over a long period of time. So that got me to thinking, should I DIY a vanity? I don't know if the cost will be cheaper or not. I think I wanted to give it a try. But first, maybe let's go take a look at what it would actually cost me if I were to buy a vanity. Okay, we've been distracted by the plants. Look at them. Bring me Guess we need more room in your car. <laughs> I'm buying this. Okay, we got distracted again. They're little bathtub models of them. They're so cute. They're like doll bathtubs. So after browsing around, it looks like I'm not seeing anything in that actual mid-century modern style and things are kind of expensive you know at your local hardware store they're just a couple of hundred but also these are a smaller size and at a fancier place like they're closer to two grand so i think that leaves me in the position of diying one which is fun because that's why we're making this video anyways so my first task is finding a dresser now this can be a long process it takes a lot of patience and dedication to some secondhand websites. This process was made especially difficult because I'm looking for a very specific size of dresser. At first I was looking for a 48 inch dresser, but when everything was like 52 inches or longer, I asked my contractor if there was any more room. Is it possible to get a bigger unit in here because I'm not finding anything that's 48 inches? And they said yes. The piece that I had my eye on that was 52 inches was all of a sudden gone, sold, by. So I kept looking. But then I found this piece. 54 inches, very cute, love the look of it. I was so excited that I finally found a unit that would work. It wasn't too red toned. I was really into the vibe of it. It's a little bit short, but that can easily be fixed. And I send them a message, no response. I gently follow up, still no response. I was on my last straw hoping that I could get this dresser because it was the only one that I found that was the right size and was like meeting all my criteria, and then they got back to me. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta wait it out. So I went by, checked out the unit, gave it the thumbs up. So my contractor went to go pick up the unit for me and brought it here, my new vanity. But right now, it's just a dresser. But we will turn it into a vanity, so. There are a couple of nicks and scratches here that I'll have to fix up, but overall, it is so cute and pretty good condition, and it actually looks exactly like one of my pins. So I think we're on the right track. Let's talk about the next steps for turning this into a vanity. I need a sink, which I can easily order online. There's two ways to do this. Either you do an overmount sink that just kind of sits on top here, or you do an undermount sink with a countertop. 
One's a lot easier and a lot cheaper than the other, but guess what? I'm obviously gonna go with the more difficult, expensive route, which means an undermount sink and getting a custom cut countertop. Also, it's a little low right now to be a vanity, so I'm going to swap out the legs for something a little bit taller. And lastly, since there's gonna be some plumbing and the sink here, I'm gonna to need to reconfigure the drawers so that they're a little bit shorter and they work with the sink and everything. That's it, that's all. I think first step is let's go scout some uh, countertops. So honestly, it's hard to figure out where to even start when it comes to the countertop. What I've learned is that there's engineered stone, which is like Caesar stone and moonstone. And you can kind of get that a little bit more custom. And then there's the real stone slabs, like a marble or insert other kinds here, I don't know yet. And those ones, they can be a little bit more expensive, but I'm hoping that since I need a small piece, I can just get like a small cut off. My local hardware store said that they only do the custom countertops with the whole vanity installation unit. So I'm really looking for somebody that's really just gonna give me the countertop and cut it for me. So I got the name of a guy from a person who got the name of a guy from a person. And we're here at this stone warehouse and I'm gonna see if they wanna cut me some countertop. <laughs> I was looking at the existing slabs that they had there. Honestly, it was like half the price. I was looking at the engineered stone, so quartz. So out of the slabs that were there, I ended up going with a quartz Caesar stone frosty Perina. It looked like my tile was a lot whiter than this, but these were my options and I wanted to pay less money. That's where we ended up. It ended up costing me with tax $508. Insert the cha-ching right here, yeah. Pretty expensive. So next up, I'm going to quickly pick a sink. And then I think our next step is starting to work on the actual dresser itself. Kelsey, what are you up to? I'm figuring out what kind of legs these are because I think I need to get ones that are like almost double the size. I feel like they don't even match that well. They're definitely they darker. Different. Yeah. Maybe they're just less worn. Cause he's got a lot of like, maybe yeah, touch. So I just need to find something that I can screw in here that's 10 inches long to the internet. Okay, good news. We got a sink. So today's the day I'm gonna make a template for the countertop supplier so that I know that my sink and everything is gonna line up and my faucets. Let's check this guy out. I thought this was a small sink. We ordered a small sink. It says petite on the outside. It literally says petite. I was gonna say I gotta be careful of scratching the top of this, but I don't because I'm covering it in a countertop. I can like engrave my name on it. Okay, it's not like the biggest. Wow, wow. Let me flip it upside down. Wait. Okay. So it could go like this. And like it's close to the front edge. So this is gonna be really tight. Also, did a Taylor Swift fan make this? Oh, there you can see it now kind of. She has that like tattoo, right? She was born on the 13th of December. And yeah, she used to put 13 on her hand when she- Oh, she doesn't actually have a tattoo, it's just no. like- No, oh, I don't think pen. she has any tattoos. Yeah, she used to draw it on her left hand for her most of her concerts. She kind of stopped doing that though. Wow. So this is my Delta hardware. Delta is bay. Thank you, Delta, for being my faucet sponsor. So this has to go at the back. And that's what we gotta do. We gotta make it all work. So what are you doing first? Stressing out. Yeah, that's the first step. The next step is starting to measure to make sure we get everything centered here and we have enough room for everything. So let's do it. Also, the outside of this is like not as big as the actual sink. Like if you actually look at that, there's like a decent le lip there. So it won't take up as much room. Let's start measuring. So honestly, it's pretty scary when you don't know what you're doing, but I think that I got everything laid out. So we have a sink, I have my center line, I have my faucet center spots. Yeah, and that's it. I'll have a little bit of countertop around the edge. And does that, oh my gosh. 
That doesn't look centered. Oh no, all my work. Measure twice, draw once. That's not centered. How did I mess that up? Okay, it's fixed, and now the next step is to drop off the sink and these measurements to the countertop maker, and we're gonna move on to making some legs, cause we got a delivery. Fine, next time I see you, you'll be attached to my countertop. While Allie goes ahead and drops off my sink at the countertop maker, I'm gonna work on these legs. So I received a delivery and the legs came as I thought they would, which means that they're kind of varnished and they're definitely not the right color. So my first step is going to give them a sand so that I can then stain them the correct color to match my dresser, AKA vanity. It's currently having an identity crisis. So as you can see, we have absolutely no shortage of stains. I pulled out every single stain, and now I just need to find one that matches my existing cabinet here, or at least one that will make this look like the cabinet. I'm feeling quite confident right now because I really was able to get this down to like a raw wood. So as long as I find the right color, we should be good to go. I'm excited because this is like the first DIY thing. I feel like up until this point, it's just been a lot of sourcing things. This is like putting my hands, get my hands dirty. What are my hands? I'm getting my hands dirty now. I can't read it. You must have used this as like a. That, that was actually me. I, I was the one who did that. You like propped something up, yeah, right? And then spray painted spray it? it. Okay, hold on. I can see the French. What's Chen Vielle? Oh, hold on. Chien Vielli, they're the same. It's age joke. This one could be could could be good. I low key don't know what wood this actually is. Like, is it new, useful oak? <laughs> I don't know. Pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, this one's too dark. I think. Yeah. I think it's this one. Early American. I think that's it. No regrets. Oh yeah, right? Second opinion? Yeah, that's totally it. Oh, that's great. Woo, bye bye. I made a thing, I'm making a thing. Some might say that my DIY leg looks a lot better than this original one. This one looks painted. It doesn't even look like real wood. This one looks like real wood. I don't know why it's so wobbly. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on there, but woo, girl, I am so excited. That looks so good, but it is late and I'm, I'm gonna call it a night. Good night. Obviously that was super fake. I have to still turn off the camera. What's up guys? It has been a minute since um, I've had an update with the vanity. For you, it's been 30 seconds. For me, it's been 30 days. But basically yesterday I got to my house my vanity is at my house with the new legs and the new countertop was also at my house, which was really exciting. I love the way it turned out. I love the finish of the countertop. Good choice, me. And thank you, Allie, for your help and input. Yesterday, I also drilled the hole for the sink. So this includes measuring out where the sink will go, drilling four pilot holes, and then using a jigsaw to draw four lines connecting those pilot holes. It looks like bare bones. It's pretty sketch. Like <laughs> Skeletor. Okay, <laughs> 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 
squeeze it. You okay? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Kill the slider. <gasps> ah! Yay! Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, sexiest thing I've ever seen. Hi, dresser identity crisis. Next up, we brought the vanity actually into the bathroom. I was working on it in a different room to actually see where it's gonna go and where I need to cut holes for the plumbing to come through. I worked with my contractor to discuss the different options of like bringing the plumbing across the bottom, but ultimately you don't wanna see it. So we decided to go in the unit, which means that I have to do a lot of work on the inside so that the plumbing can fit in there because I have a lot of like beams and joists and stuff inside the cabinet. So that brings me to today. I'm back at the house working on this vanity. I'm hoping to finish it today. I think the only thing that might not get finished are like some of the drawers because I'm gonna have to shorten them because there's plumbing going behind them but I'll definitely be able to cut out all the holes and I'm really excited. It looks so good with that countertop on it. It's honestly all coming together. I'm really curious to know how much this is gonna cost me in the end. I'm hoping I saved a little bit of money. Definitely didn't save time because there's a lot of time that you have to put into it, but like as far as the way it looks, I am freaking over the moon. I don't think I could ever buy a piece that I liked as much as this one that I'm making. So let's go DIY some shit. Also the painters are in there today, so we're gonna have to like be friends, you know? So this is my first time using a Dremel. Can you see it? Beauty guru, but make it DIY. So this is just a little saw that vibrates and I'm gonna use it to just cut through some of these beams so that I can put a hole here. Let's go see. Yeah, so to cut through here. Wish me luck. I brought my handsaw for this, but you know, try new things, try the Dremel. Oh my god, I broke the Dremel. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Also, dear neighbors, I don't know if you know my YouTube channel exists or if you watch my videos, but I am sorry for all the noise, because it's loud. I've only been here for a little bit, and I'm like, why is it so loud? I need earplugs. <laughs> Off. Oh, hello. Oh my god. It worked. Hello. It's time for a little pit stop because my vanity isn't completely level. So I don't know if that means the floor isn't level or the legs or what's just what's out of what's what's happening. I don't know. So I have two options to level this vanity. I can either saw off um, three eighths or a quarter of an inch on one side, or I can get like little, you know, feet like the plastic ones and prop up the other side. I'm going to prop it up. I think cutting it. I don't know. I just don't feel like cutting it. I find it's too nervous. Like I, I feel like I, I have no going back if I do it that way. So I'm going to instead use little feet. can't even talk I'm so tired and it didn't film so I'll just catch you up okay as you can see here I have a little U cut out and that's because the drain will go there I have one here I have another here so that's some of the hacking that needed to happen um, on the drawers so that it could fit in with the drains and everything now the update is I have to go back to the office tomorrow and do normal TSG filming work I can't keep taking days off 
to work on my vanity. So I'm gonna be in the office tomorrow. And while I'm in the office, they're going to install the drains, put on the countertop. They're just gonna put a little bead of silicone um, to glue it, but honestly, it's not going anywhere. You saw how heavy that countertop was. And they're gonna install the faucet knobs. I'm so excited, it's gonna look so amazing. So next time we come back, everything will be done. The only thing that I need to do is like, add like the proper sides and stuff to the drawers because right now I just made it so that they can like fit in but they don't have like the nice sides and stuff like that so but I think that'll be a later me problem I'm just excited to have this done and show it to you guys and it'll be in position I'll see you and you later hopefully you guys become friends and hang out and I'll see you later cut to tomorrow or whenever I come back and this thing's done. Thirty hours later and I am back in my basement bathroom. Now before I go into showing you how everything looks together, I would ask you guys to please consider subscribing. This is our 10 year anniversary on YouTube. We wanna reach two million before our 10 year anniversary, which is in October. Yeah, I just know there's like a statistic that like about 50% of our audience is subscribed and 50% isn't. So if you're one of that 50% that isn't, feel free to subscribe. Thank you if you're already subscribed. And let's jump into continuing this video. <laughs> the drawers weren't quite fitting in because the plumbing was like kind of taking up more room than I thought it would. So I had to go ahead and cut out some drawers, cut out like the U shape at the back and then take off the back and stuff like that so that the drawers could fit in properly. Now I am gonna come back at a later date and like add backing and everything, but that's just like such a specific process to my situation. And I honestly don't even know how I'm gonna do that yet. It's gonna be like maybe a little bit of a hack job. But right now I'm just focused on like getting the drawers in there and working. I also ended up cutting a giant rectangle out of the back instead of individual holes. This just makes it easier for the vanity to slide in and out when plumbing and doing work on it. All together, this is how everything looks. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I don't think I could buy something that I love this much, but let's take a minute to talk about the prices. So if we remember, if I wanted to buy a vanity that's like over 50 inches long, I'm looking at like probably $1,000 to $2,000. And I didn't find anything that was my style. So that's kind of like our benchmark. Now the dresser was $450 cash. The countertop was $508, which was a little bit of a hard pill to swallow. I didn't realize it'd be that expensive. The sink was $277.97 which seems a lot for a sink, but I guess you kind of just buy it once. The legs were $35.70, which honestly isn't that bad for like four wood legs. Now for the faucet, whether I was DIYing a vanity or buying one, I always was gonna have to buy a faucet, but this one is gifted from Delta as they are sponsoring all of my fixtures and my kitchen and bath for my house series. So thank you, Delta. <laughs> Stop hammering, I'm trying to film a video, but you're doing your job, so that's okay. And then of course I had those little plastic feet <laughs> to make it level and that was $3.27. So that means that our total is 1200. It's like they're giving me a drum roll. So that means the full total is $1,274.94, which I honestly thought I was going to be able to keep it under $1,000, so I'm not like super happy that it's over $1,000, but I know that like no matter what I kind of wanted, unless I was getting like just a sink and no storage, but you know, in a place the size I'm living, you kind of need storage. I knew it was gonna be an expensive piece. So at least I'm happy that I like put my own blood, sweat and tears into it. It wasn't too grand because it easily could have been. And it is something that I'm super, super happy with because it's like the exact style that I wanted. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would ever attempt or you think I'm crazy for trying to turn a dresser into a vanity. Let me know how what you guys think of the finished product, if that's something that's like your style or like what your vanity style would be. Cause it's something that you don't think about until you have to think about it. And then you're like, oh God, I don't want to think about this. But alas, you have to. I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next, our next video. Make sure you subscribe if you want some more house content cause it is sure as heck coming up. It's literally a work in progress. See you next time, bye.